Return to Squash, level 2, the Cross Court. In Squash, the Cross Court is a relatively safe shot to play, but depending on the quality of your shot, one of three things can happen. Either you can increase the pressure on your opponent, the pressure on the rally stays the same, or you hit a poor cross and your opponent is now putting pressure on you. A couple weeks ago, I played my first practice match in quite some time, and let me tell you, my cross courts were terrible. I had completely lost the feel for it. Every time I had an opportunity to put my partner under pressure with a good cross court, I ended up having to run for my life. In this video, I'll show you a simple and effective way to teach yourself how to hit a quality cross court that might win the rally on the spot. To get the ball warm, I recommend completing level 1 in this series and then hitting some drives on both sides to get the ball hot. When you're ready to go, standing just behind the service box, uh, hit some drives to yourself. When you think the time is right, hit a cross court and immediately watch where the ball hits the front wall and then the side wall. Normally you're supposed to watch the ball hit your strings, but we'll get there in a minute. You want the ball to hit the side wall high on the side wall, just behind the service box. If this didn't happen, right away, repeat these steps until it does. When you finally hit a good cross court, make a mental note where the ball hit the front wall. That is now your target. Getting in the habit of identifying targets will be very important in your squash progression. As you continue to practice your cr cross courts, once you can reliably hit that spot on the front wall you identified, your next area of focus will be the weight of your shot, or how hard you need to hit the ball. The weight of your shot will determine how, how far back on the side wall your cross court will hit. The other interesting thing about this drill is that you will quickly learn what sort of drives are good candidates for a cross court. It's very hard to hit a cross court on a tight drive, but as soon as it's a bit loose, you will know what to do. If you hit your targets well, any opponent is going to have a really hard time making a good return on this shot. If your opponent allows to ball, the ball to drop into the back of the court, there's a good chance you might win the rally then and there. I suggest spending about 5 to 10 minutes practicing this when you do your solo hits. At first, your cross courts are going to be all over the place, but I promise as you do this more and more, they will get more consistent. Eventually, you will want to practice this drill without looking up at the front wall. If you keep your eyes where the ball made contact with your racket, it'll be very difficult for your opponent to predict what shot you're about to hit. And as a final tip, cross courts are generally more effective the longer you alternate drives with your opponent on one side of the court. We all tend to get lazy and start drifting to one side, so if you see your opponent doing this, throw in that cross court and watch them scramble. After four or so solo se sessions practicing your cross courts on both sides, feel free to move to level 3 when it becomes available.